Good morning. Welcome to our meditative art circle. Um, if you're here, drop your name in the chat. Sorry, I'm trying to get adjusted here. Um, let me know who you are, where you're from. If I can see the chat. I've kind of got my thing in the way here at the chat. Oh no. And okay. Just about ready to start here. We'll give everybody a couple more minutes to come in. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me this morning as we kick off our meditative art circle. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking what I'm going to do. This week, we will do Monday through Friday. But from that point on, I think we will just do a meditation Monday so that we meet once a week live like this to help get our, our week going. Introduce yourself. Let me know who you are, where you're from, maybe what your interests are. Doesn't matter whether you're interested in acrylic paints, watercolors, uh, you draw with markers, or even a creative writer or a poet. This is open to all creativity. Okay, then let's get started. Um, I think everybody's had a chance to join in. It's 10.30 now. Maybe I should give them one more minute. The replays on this will also be available if you cannot make a day or two, or if you're working during the day and you want to watch later. That's Chico. He's my buddy. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Shall we get started? What this is, is a morning practice to get us moving and get our creative juices flowing for the day. Um, it's a way to get in touch with um, the spirit, spirit realm, God, creator, um, a way to calm yourself in the morning and get yourself prepared for the day and start the day off well. We all know how a day can go when we don't start off well. If we start with something bad, then the whole day is shot. So this is a way to just get off on a good foot, a good start. And it doesn't matter if you take five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, you need some time, I believe at least I know I do, to look inward, get my peace, my calm, and collect myself before I begin the busy day. I know this is a little later than most people would start their day, but I was trying to find a time where it wouldn't be too early for some, and it wouldn't be too late for others. So that's why I chose this time slot. And we're going to start now. So we're going to get comfortable. Uh, hopefully you have some art supplies out. I've just picked up a cheapo canvas that I can play on. That's what I plan on for this. Um, so if, if you're concerned with... Um, messing up a good canvas or whatever. They do have cheapos that you can pick up at like the dollar store or whatever just for playing around on. And I use that to practice different techniques and whatever. 
before I move to the bigger and higher quality canvases. So you might want to try that. Um, even just if you have paper and pencil, it's all you need to let the creativity out and let it flow. So let's get started. Let's relax. Get comfortable, whether that's laying down, sitting in your chair, sitting on the floor, whatever it is for you. And let's take some deep breaths in, okay? We're going to breathe in deep through the nose. And release out the mouth. Again, in. Out. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in. And out. Now, as you're sitting here with your eyes closed, just breathing, I want you to connect with the Creator, with God, the universe, life force. Imagine you're connecting. Imagine an invisible or even a white light thread that goes from you to source, where there's an even flow of energy back and forth between you. Keep breathing. Deep breath in. Release. Now your feet are firmly planted on the floor. Or if you're sitting on the floor, your bottom is planted on the floor. And there's an invisible thread that runs down through the earth, connecting you to the earth. You are one with the earth, with nature. And you are one with the heavens and God, our creator, universe, whichever you prefer. Feel the connection to all living beings on the earth. The connection to spirit, the connection to nature. Breathe in. Release. Breathe in. Release. One more time. Breathe in deep. Release all that negative, dark energy that no longer serves. Again, a good deep breath in, connecting with all that is around you. Release all that no longer serves. Again, in. Out. One more time. In. Out. I come back into the present. And you wiggle your fingers around and your toes. Slowly open your eyes. 
And we're going to pick up our creative tools. And we're not going to think about what we're creating. We're just going to start to move our paintbrush, our pen, our pencil. And we're going to let things just flow onto the canvas. Whatever it is. If you're writing, or you want to write poetry, or creative writing, or just write your release. Write what it is that you want to put out. And you can do that as well. I'm just going to start with my paint pen on my canvas. I just, I love this time to just come in and do some things. It's so much fun. It's a good way to start your morning, to clear your head so that you can uh, have better focus during the day. Hmm. I did scribbles. Doesn't matter what you're what mark you're making. It comes from the heart. Just whatever flows through you, go with it. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up my paintbrush. I have brought, I, I chose different colors. You might have different colors that you chose for your work. I brought some white and some of this, um, what would you call it? It's called Arctic. It's a really nice, pretty light blue. And I also brought some of my metallic inks. These are fun. So I'm going to start with white. And I'm just going to let things flow onto the canvas. And I'll probably work on this same canvas through the whole week as we go. You have to let go of um, needing it to turn out a certain way. Let go of any preconceived notions of what it should look like. Because every piece of art, as we're working on it, goes through ugly stages. <laughs> And that's just the way it is. We need to learn to accept the ugly parts as well as the beautiful parts. Just like we do with ourselves. We accept the beautiful parts and the ugly parts. Every creation goes through a series of phases or steps. There's moments when we think it's absolutely horrible. There's moments when we think it's beautiful and we don't want to cover up a certain part. And then later we find out well, if we want to make it a good piece, we have to cover up that part. We have to change it. And change, change is good. And life is the same. We need to accept the ugly parts as well as the beautiful parts. We wouldn't know true joy and happiness if we didn't experience the pain and the sadness that some of life's situations throw at us. <laughs> um, I find that art is um, a really good way of releasing some of that negative energy um, or the critical judgmentalness that we can have of ourselves. If we just release and just go with it without needing to control the outcome. Okay, 
Just do whatever comes to you. There's no right way or wrong way. I mean, art is pretty much in the eye of the beholder. Each piece speaks to a different person or a different spirit. I mean, what one person finds moving and interesting, another person may have no interest at all in. That's what makes us all unique and individual. And I'm just kind of putting color here wherever wherever I move to put it. So. I'm liking this Arctic color. It's really pretty. And in the Facebook group, you'll be able to share your projects. I've um, that's the reason for the group. We're here to support one another and um, encourage one another. Let's be um, a help to each other. Especially during this time with the changes and all that are happening in the world. I really think that we all need that kind of support and that safe place. Things have been really kind of crazy, haven't they? This is fun. Just a little more up here, maybe. Mm. All right, now hopefully this will get you off to a really good start for your day. It helps me a lot <laughs> when I can take some time and do this kind of thing and get myself centered and grounded and with a nice calming color to my piece here. I'll show it to you in a second. Like I said, this is just a free create, no planned outcome. This is mine so far. So we'll do some more on it tomorrow and see. Right now, let's um, plan on pulling us a card a message, a healing message for us to consider throughout the day. Um, I have my um, Whispers of Healing cards, and they all have little messages with them. So I thought I would share one at the uh, towards the end of the session. You can keep painting. I just, uh, mine has to dry a little bit before I can do anything else to it. Let's pick a card and see what our message is for today. All right. Okay. I'm going to go with this one here. This one. Oh. Barriers is the card. And I'm going to have to, I have two things going here, so I'll try and lift it up so that you can see it. 
Oh, there's a glare. Can you see the dragon? I'll hold it up over here on the Facebook group. It's a pretty card. I mean, these cards are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So I'm going to look that one up and read it to you while you create. Um, 13. <clears throat> barriers. This is our message. You have created barriers or defense mechanisms that may be preventing emotional or mental healing. Well, that's kind of perfect, isn't it? The universe is eagerly waiting and willing to assist you with your healing, but you may not be receiving the healing you desire. Something seems to be blocking or hindering your restoration. The obstacle may be a protective measure you have put in place to keep your heart from further harm. This shield may seem necessary and logical. However, it is also preventing the healing light being sent to you from penetrating and healing your pain. Well, we all do that, right? I know I've put up walls I've had to tear down. It's a lot of hard work. Defense mechanisms are a response to being wronged, hurt, rejected, abandoned, or abused. You may have made a mental vow not to allow yourself to feel a certain type of pain again. Once the block is in place, you may find it difficult to talk about certain situations or to receive correct information about your experience. By identifying the root cause of your defense mechanism, healing can be in. Excuse me just a minute. I'm going to let him out. <laughs> okay, sorry for the interruption. All right, where was I? Okay, defense mechanisms are a response to being wronged, hurt, rejected, abandoned, or abused. You may have made a mental vow not to allow yourself to feel a certain type of pain again. Once the block is in place, you may find it difficult to talk about certain situations or to receive corrective information about your experience. By identifying the root cause of your defense mechanism, healing can begin. You need to be willing to tear down the walls you've built so that healing can occur. A woman rides high on the back of a dragon. In the middle of the ocean, the shoreline is covered with jagged rocks and looks completely unapproachable. Smoke comes from the dragon's mouth as if he might breathe fire at any moment. You've created a similar type of energy with the walls that you've built around you. Remember, fear does not keep you safe. Be willing to make some changes. Talk to someone about what you are harboring so your healing process can begin. The full moon shines her light on whatever is ready to be released. The turbulent water shows this may not be easy for you to do. However, the same turbulent water can be cleansing and will help you move forward. The stars in the sky are your blessings. You see the stars? Can you see them in the sky? It's kind of hard to get it on both screens here. Here we go. It suggests there are many sources that will help you become free. This speaks to me. It speaks to me a lot. <laughs> um, because in my lifetime, I have done that. I have had walls up, and it has been a lot of work for me to try and overcome those walls and barriers and to let my guard down. Um, because when we experience trauma or pain in our lifetime, 
it teaches us to put a wall up so that we, that doesn't happen to us again. We don't want to allow that to happen again. But the only one we're really hurting when we do that is ourselves. Um, so it really does pay off to work through those barriers and those walls and to let them down and let people in. Yes, we risk um, being hurt again. Um, but I have found in my life that it is worth it because it allows more love to come in. And it gives us an opportunity to love in return, which is the greatest gift, is to be able to give love, send love. And in return, we receive love. Um, I hope your painting went well. Share them in the, in the group. Uh, so we can see your progress through the week. We'll be back uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, same time. Same channel. This seemed to work all right. I hope nobody had any problems. Uh, if you did, let me know so that I can fix that, okay? Thanks for joining me. Have a totally blessed day. Um, if you have any questions, we have a couple minutes left. Um, I don't see any. All right then, I guess we will um, close for today and meet back tomorrow morning, same time. I'll do the uh, YouTube and the Facebook Live. Thank you so much for joining me. Blessings to all. Bye-bye.